Welcome back to the Spare Bedroom Makeover. It's done as much as I'm going to do. I'm sure there's always more you can do. Just like at Christmas, you can always buy more presents. And I want to go through and break down what I paid and what all I got done. I am the master of what I call poke and shove for storage. I can put so much storage in a place. And it's like when you pull it out and pack it up, it's like where did this all come from? But I want to go through. I needed storage for the stuff out of my RV. And I needed a spare bedroom and this needed straightened up. It was just a total disaster. If you look at the initial video, I was tripping over stuff. I got my foot stuck. I lost my shoe. But it's all it's much, much better. So I'm gonna show you around. Okay, when you come in the door, I put this up on the wall, and then you come around, there's a mirror and the jewelry holder I'd made her previously the closet right now it just has like a sheet for a curtain that would be my one of my tips when you're making curtains it doesn't have to be material off the bolt that gets to be a little expensive this sheet costs four dollars and fifty cents another thing you can use for curtains my mother had used bath towels to make curtains for the garage at their house anyhow I'm gonna bring you on around the lights my son made that turned out so great and the curtains I made uh, the little curtain rod holders I bought them for two dollars for four of them and I spray painted them silver the curtain rods I had I painted those black I extended the curtain out farther than the window because I wanted it centered at the headboard so it didn't look lopsided the bed which I cleaned the paint off and the rest and spray painted that over here this is really not a bedside table I have one of those single unit air conditioners for a room and I didn't want to put it back out in storage because I didn't want things to get into it so I just took some of the material wrapped around it and put a tray on top of it put up another mirror the other curtain Okay, I'm back with you. And this was a dresser out of the sewing room that I had. Use it for storage. The rocking chair was free. It was from my grandma's, and it's one she used to rock me with. I don't know how because you sit in it and it about throws you out backwards. This cabinet I made out of the some more of the pallet, free pallet wood. It's two pieces. The doors are made out of um, shutters. Um, the top one I had a little trouble with. I, when I measured and made it, I had it too close for the hinges. There are a couple of solutions I could have used. They were they just wouldn't shut. Made them too close. I could have used a wood chisel and chiseled out where the spit it out. I could have used a wood chisel and chiseled out where the hinges go, so they gave it some more room for them to close. I could have used my table saw to run down the side and trim some of that off and what happened was my husband used his joiner and shaved it off till it, I had it where they would close um, little brackets up the top corners I don't know if you get my finger in here the brackets up at the corners I had them um, got them on sale at one of the craft stores for I think they were 50 cents a piece and I wanted this room to have like a 4th of July red white and blue theme the little um, round thing I don't know if you're old enough to remember they used to have lights that that um, touched the ceiling and the floor and they had three round bulbs on them and I like the pattern of it so I just spray painted it black I thought it would make cute decoration and the trunk has a bunch of blankets in them and the dresser and I've got a few things stuffed underneath the bed uh, fans and such Okay, earlier, in one of my earlier videos, I said know your limitations. Like I said, my husband took a joiner on these and turned them down so that they would close. And he doesn't let me use the joiner, and he doesn't think I'd be safe. Um, I used to use the circular saw, but I don't anymore. Like these 12-inch pieces on the bottom that needed cut, I marked them and my husband cut them for me because I now have arthritis and tendonitis in my shoulders and I just don't feel safe using that saw. I don't think there's enough strength in my arms. Um, another thing that 
I usually edit, edit out on my videos is when I'm working on something on the floor is getting up and down because I've had a knee replacement, I have osteoporosis, and I've had um, superficial fractures on the surface of my bones. So the, you have to know your limitations and work around them, but it's still a lot of fun working on projects and making things look nice again. There were other solutions for fixing these doors. I could have put them on my table saw and just took a blade whip off. I could have took a wood chisel and chiseled out where the, the hinges go so it gave it more space. There's alternate ways of fixing things. It doesn't always have to be something that you think you can't do. Anyhow, um, another tip is never hire a blind drywaller. The guy that did our drywall was legally blind. He was highly recommended to me. And as you can see, that's cracking there in the corner. It may be from settling, but I can tell you when I was painting this house that there was multiple places that I had to go and fix. If you have a crack in a corner, use latex caulking. Do not use silicone because silicone is not paintable and you'll be very disappointed. It'll look like you've got Vaseline spray, spread on your wall. Where the, the latex, you can paint it to match the rest of your room. I almost forgot to give you the breakdown of the price of this room and I've recorded this like 10 times because just when I get it all tallied up, I remember something that I left out. So I'm gonna try it one more time. I paid $7 for the paint to paint the bed, $5 for the wire, a dollar for the brackets for this cabinet, 50 cents for knobs, $5 for the cabinet doors, which are actually shutters, $8 for paint. I used leftover primer, um, the other spray paint for the knobs I already had, uh, $4.50 for the material in the curtains. That was the black and white um, checked. I got that from Salvation Army. And the black I've had for a long time, so I have no idea. It probably come in a very large box that I got for a little or nothing at an auction. The sheet was $4.50. Uh, the rollers and brushes came to about $3. The curtain brackets were $2 for four of them. That came to a grand total of $40.50. The bed I already had, I bought it for me. I changed my mind because I found one I liked better. The bed was $100. The dresser is out of my sewing room. I'm just repurposed it in here. That was $50. The trunk I have had since I was like 16 and I believe I paid like $20. The two lights were $22 each. So that was $44. So the grand total for this room was $256.50. That's including furniture and everything. I know you guys on the last two rooms I've used curtains for the closets. This room up here, I do have closet doors, but I can't put them up myself. Um, the guy that was helping us passed away with cancer several years back, and that's kind of where we stopped because we get to arguing when we work on this together. Um, I will tell you, this is the upstairs, and we went a little cheaper. We went with hollow core doors when we built this place. We went with smaller trim work. Um, it was going to be the kids' rooms. And if you like these videos, like, subscribe, and come back and join me. Welcome to my craft, craft room makeover. Da, 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 da. Have my son redo the lights or, that we made into sconces. That was, oops, I goofed. The wire wheel brushes to clean off the bed was. One and a two and a three and a four. Um, the, the rocking chair was free.